Good morning. It is about 7.30. It is cold, windy, rain, snow mix outside. It's not nice. I had planned to go to the yard and set up a concrete pad that I was going to pour tomorrow. Uh, just for testing purposes, I made a new joiner that I want to test out and make sure that it's going to work. It may not work at all. I have no idea. But instead, we're going to go to the winter shop and I have two skid loaders that are ready to paint. So I'm going to paint those. And then the third one that I bought last year, I'm going to have Eric and Francisco wash that one, get that one ready for paint so I can hit that one uh, tomorrow or Saturday. Um, I have a few shout outs this morning. The first one goes out to uh, Robbie. He sent me a really nice Christmas card and he sent me a multi-tool which is really nice as a player some knives screwdrivers you guys know what these are i want to bring this to the winter shop thank you very much robbie uh second i have a card this is actually annie's very first christmas card ever and it comes from her friend milkshake so there you go so you guys are going to see christmas stuff for a long time i am way behind on shout outs um i'm going to be doing christmas shout outs i think for probably the rest of the winter. Uh, so just be patient if you sent me something. Um, I'm way backed up, but we'll get through it. And then the last shout out goes out to uh, Sergeant John Hart, and he's from Brooklyn, New York. And he's a sergeant with the New York State Courts. And he sent me a letter. And then he also sent me all these patches, which are really, really cool. I especially like this one here with the Bulldog. That's awesome. Uh, so I've accumulated a whole bunch of patches from all over the country, uh, which is cool. I have to start thinking about how I could display those uh, properly. So uh, I guess that's it. I'm going to take this trash out, and I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. I don't know if I mentioned this, but Tino is coming in today. Uh, he's got a job for the winter, but I guess they haven't been giving him many hours and he just asked if he could come in for a day here and a day there. And I told him sure. So he's gonna come in and help a little bit today and tomorrow. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad. All right. Thanks for stopping. Thank you. Just pulling into the yard, 7.56. And Eric's right behind me. Francisco called and he said he's going to be late. I don't know if Tino came with Eric. They kind of live close to each other, I think. Or if he's here already, if he got dropped off. I have no idea. Or if he's right around the corner. Yep. He's sitting in the Chevy. Tino must have got dropped off. So I think what I'm going to do is, since we have an empty trailer here, I might as well have Eric load up, or the guys load up the uh, the MT100, because we need to de-sticker that one too. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll pull the stickers off of that one too. I'm going to take Tino with me, first thing. And I got a bunch of tools in the back of my truck we're gonna put in storage because yesterday I forgot my I forgot my storage key, but now I have it. <clears throat> Did you get dropped off? Morning. Yeah. Oh. Oh man, you know what? Maybe I won't bring the MT 100 I was just thinking we gotta we're gonna put a concrete slab right here tomorrow and I don't have any skid loaders here. What was up? What's up? Is that Francisco? He texts me he's late. Oh. But he's on the way. So when he gets here, just go over to the winter shop. I'm gonna put these tools in the storage now that I have the key with Tino. And then uh and then we'll meet you over oh, there. He called me, he didn't even text me, he's to pick him up. Tino? Yeah, he called me at six in the morning. I'm like, you could just text me, Tino. Well he wanted to make sure. We need to bring that other trailer. Yeah, yeah, because I want to fix that buggy. Okay. And you're going there anyway, we might as well drag it over there. Yeah. yeah, we'll do that. That'll work. That'll work. That's a better plan. We'll bring the power buggy because that thing's leaking like a sieve. Morning. Morning, sir. Man, you brought your whole backpack like school. I got sodas, water. Mm. My mama gave me a sandwich. <laughs> your mom my gave you a sandwich? And my wife made me too, but you know, I have to take my mom's. All right, we need to unload all these. 
tools, and then we're gonna run a couple loads of garbage as well today and get the shop cleaned out. <laughs> A lot of stuff is brand new. Brand new yeah. Look at Brand new. What would be nice if one contractor says, I'll take it all. Oh, yeah. That would be nice. I don't feel like putting everything on Marketplace, one saw, one impact, and I gotta meet people over here and sell one thing at a time. I just don't have time for that. Yeah. Either that or I'll just throw it all in the garbage can. <laughs> yeah. You just want to know which garbage can, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pull it in by the winter shop. It's more of a swamp than ever. Look at this, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're not here yet. So I want to take a load of garbage right away. Yeah. Ooh, it's nice and toasty in here. So both skid steers are ready for paint. They just need to be wiped down with some thinner or whatever, clean them up one last time, and then prime and paint. And then we're gonna do this one today too. Once I take the first load of garbage, I'll bring the pressure washer, I forgot to bring it, but we gotta go back anyway. So I'm gonna have the guys pressure wash this one, get it all cleaned up, scuffed, and ready for paint as well. Then all three will be matching. Garbage? Yeah. We should have kept it in there. We're taking it anyway. Oh, you didn't even see this, did you? Oh, that's not all of those. <laughs> yep. Okay. I just built this bench. You did it? Yeah, I built this. You what? don't have well? Come on, man, of course I do. So I was talking yesterday, I don't know, last video, whenever that came out, about mounting the impact and the drill. So I was looking online and kind of what they have is uh, they have little plates, little plastic plates. So this will slide into the plate and they hang upside down. Problem with that is you can't hang it with a battery on it. I don't really want them hanging upside down like that. I mean, sure, it would be, uh, you know it'd be out of the way and and all that but i really want to hang them with a battery in it so you can just grab it and use it you don't have to grab it find the battery put the battery in so i think i'm just gonna try to make something francisco's here finally i didn't think you were coming so i brought him in yeah oh i got something for these i bought a bag for those i'm gonna grab it you know, you can tape it. There's green tape in that cabinet right there. Yep. We're gonna go take a load of garbage. I forgot the pressure washer. We'll bring the pressure washer back, but you can prime them. Okay. And then we'll be back and then you can, um, and then you can tape that one outside and wash that and get start getting that one ready. Okay. We're gonna keep all our rollers organized in one of these bags. Those rollers like to get legs and disappear. We got rollers for like a long time. We have a lot. Pretty much every possible kind of joint in stamped concrete, we got it covered. And I'm talking every kind of joint. Oh, that's perfect. I still got room for another dozen if I wanted them. Huh? He thought he had his, his, uh... <laughs> He's like, yeah, so today we'll be working on this kid. <laughs> he gets home to edit. He's like, what happened? <laughs> There's no footage. What's wrong with you? Already? We just got here. Oh, we literally just got here. 
You don't get your camera on. Fuck, you forget. <laughs> you forgot again. Like, I just haven't been feeling myself lately, bro. Like, nice. You didn't notice. You, you, you showed him whatever you showed him. He's like, like. Oh, he was <laughs> trying to look with his <laughs> forehead. <laughs> hey, like this, hey. <laughs> yes or no? You were right. <laughs> Finally getting the garbage out of here. We got a lot of bags started. The one inside the box. I'm gonna close my business. I wanna become a garbage man and fulfill my lifelong dream. <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? Why are you laughing like that? He's throwing shade at all the garbage men here. You want some hate? You want some more internet hate? I think you pretty much get enough, don't you? So, you can stop painting now. These are, these, these are for sale. Oh, I could use these for garbage though. Never mind, keep it going. Oh man, yeah, yeah, I used to do the same thing. When I was a kid, I would take them all the way apart. I would hang the frame in the garage. Little chain. With a, yep, with a little bungee or something, little chain. Yeah, I used to love painting my bikes. Every bike I had, I would take all the way apart, right away. I'll get that. No, that's because uh, it's not clean. You didn't clean it? No, see all this, see hey. all it, See all the crackle? Yeah, it did. All the crackles from dirt. I'm gonna take this breaker out of here as well. I gotta reuse the old cart. I don't have another cart for this, so we'll just swap them out. camera that's back there we got to take the makita that's in there okay and put the dewalt on that cart reuse the same cart because okay. i don't have a new cart for it i want to see if i can get some concrete for tomorrow middle of the day hey eric it's ryan from victory yeah uh can i get a couple trucks like tomorrow at around 11 in menominee falls okay put a wheel call in for tomorrow that's the plan We'll set that up tomorrow morning and then we'll pour it. The little test pad. Ooh, this one's heavy. Does it fit good? Yep. Uh, this one's actually. This one's a little. This one's a little shorter. Heavier though. No, I think they're about the same. This one's a little bit shorter. See that? See the yep. handles? It's about two inches, inch and a half. We'll try not to have that one fly off the back of the truck and smash on the concrete <laughs> like this one. Okay. That was a bad day. That was last summer. Two summers ago. We were having all kinds of problems on the job and I took off in the form truck and this thing was laying on the side. I went around the corner, it went sliding off on the road and it was brand new at the time, brand new. And it broke, it broke this cover right here. Still usable, but it, it really needs to, to have a new shroud put on. See that, that's no good. Put this blower in there. Oh, and then the vibrator too. changing over to snow huge flakes Deep ones. Yeah. it ain't gonna stick though it's too warm it's 35 degrees yeah those are some big snowflakes now they are they got they're growing yeah yeah they are huge that looks cool some of them are just enormous like little snowballs look at that 
That's so cool. They are huge. Like each, look at the size of that. Like each snowflake is about a hundred snowflakes all clumped together. Snowflakes hardly ever get this big, man. Yeah, I went to go poop outside. <laughs> you pooped outside? Yeah. Where? Tell me where, Eric. I, I don't want to know surprises. Far away? Yeah. Okay. Away. Grab that pressure washer down. Okay. I'm really tempted to get some automotive paint. Obviously the spray paint is nowhere near as strong as automotive paint. I'm very tempted right now. Problem is that little compressor can't keep up. I tried it before and it's, it doesn't have nowhere near the strength. And this compressor, I don't even know what the deal with this thing is right now. I'm not sure. Once they're done priming this, then we'll move these and that one's gonna go outside. All right, I got some new screwdrivers. I'm gonna mount a little holder for these. I'm not really a fan of that. I don't like it. I'm taking that back off. Huh? He was a painter. I saw his videos. <laughs> I think I'm just going to keep screwdrivers like in the toolbox here. I'm going to move this one over here. Move that one like over that way some. You can just turn it and go forward and then we can get this one out. You know what I'm saying? I want to detail the inside too. Inside? Oh. No, don't wash it with water. I'm saying we're gonna, we'll vacuum it all out, wipe it all down, get it really, really clean again. I mean, it's new, you know, we should try to keep it really nice, as nice as we can. I'm gonna make sure this thing runs before I leave. Francisco needs more primer. No, no, I just wanna make sure it started before I left. Just grab some primer from the hardware store. And Eric's been washing the skid loader. Apparently he's done already. Did you get it nice, Eric? You gotta shake them really good, dude. Really good. They've probably been sitting on the shelf for a year. Right here was a lot of There's concrete on there. Oh no, those are nicks. Yeah, and then there was a lot of bugs of dirt here for a little quick. Just started drinking. Yep. Yeah. I want to touch it. I want to repaint it. Get it all really nice again. Like brand new. So you break it and then you leave it for me. Thank you. We got the. Wow, they didn't say Look at Tino, leaves it right in there. <laughs> I was wondering why I wasn't blowing and looking the tube. Thank you, Tino. He stuck it's in there. there. It's in there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it <was just> like <laughs> oh, look at that. It works that great works. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I bought some Rust-Oleum paint. This is what I use to paint the shed over there at the yard. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. I'm going to try to thin it down and see if I can get it to spray nice. If I can get it to spray, I'll use it because that, that shed, it's tough paint. Like you can take your fingernail, you can't scratch it or scuff it at all. It's pretty tough. 
I don't even know if it, if it's still working. I think it's worked. It's running. Yeah, it's working. So I'm gonna see if I can find some new ends. I think I have some ends. I bought some new ones. That would be sweet. Then I can use that to spray. That thing will keep up perfect. Now I'll thin this stuff down real good and spray it. I don't think it's meant to be thin that much, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, I have all the proper ends and everything. So, should be able to use that compressor and spray it. Compressor's working fine. So we'll get this all hooked up and see what happens. up some of this paint what'd you say atom bomb no not making an atom bomb i'm making a mess you're making a mess <laughs> yeah yeah i gotta get this darker what you think that's pretty good man all right you're perfect at painting Okay, it's ripping. That's not bad though, right? No, Fernando. What do you think? That's perfect. It's really close, right? It's close, yeah. It's still really thick for an automotive spray gun. I don't know if it's gonna come out of there. I'm gonna have to crank up the air big time. All right, I say we try it. I think it's gonna spray fine. Yep. Spraying. It's spraying. <laughs> oh yeah. Is it going? Nice. <laughs> 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 Using the rust oleum. I'm not using automotive paint. I'm using oil-based <laughs> enamel. Hey, it worked good on the shed. That stuff's tough, man. You can't scratch it with your fingernails. And it's really thick. I mean, this is better than the spray cans. And the color don't look perfect, but it's not bad. I can make it a little darker real easy. I'll put just a little bit more black in there. It ain't no big deal. It's a little, little bit light. Okay, I'll fix it. There's no problem. It's easy to fix. It is what it is now. I'm not changing it again, Eric. If you don't like this, you don't like it. I like it. I'm just saying. I don't want to cross it again. There you go. Oh, that's close, yeah. Oh, that looks better. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to leave that. That's close enough. dripping it's thick but it's thick it's thick but it's not dripping yeah you guys want to go get something to eat i'm gonna put a mask on and spray it's gonna get so stinky in here yeah that looks good man i'm gonna go with that it's not bad for that, that paint that gun is really good then mm -hmm. oh the gun's really good for a harbor freight yeah, the spray yeah, too what is all this? Nix? Yeah, or is it concrete? It's concrete splatter. In front is worse. I think we're going to have to sand it. Okay. Because this is going to look terrible if we just yeah. go over all this concrete. I'll bring my sander. We got to get, the, we gotta get the concrete off. Right. We got to get this part smooth because this is where the decal goes and everything. Hey, you guys can go get something and you give me something too. Okay, I got that door cracked and then I got an air mover over there. So I'm trying to get some of, some of this overspray out the door 
It's going good though. It's going really good. I'm gonna throw my mask on here and then uh, finish up. This doesn't take long. I had the guys go get some lunch so uh, they don't have to breathe all this. down one to go well two to go but we need to do extra work on this one it's got a concrete splatter we'll sand that all down and get it as good as we can and i'm probably going to paint this entire thing i mean not the roof and the cage and all that i don't want to get too crazy but i'm going to paint most of this thing believe it or not it's it's looking kind of rough we use this machine in the summer we busted all that brush at the new land and uh, this machine took a pretty good beating this year, but we'll get this looking good. There you go. It looks good. The paint's not perfect. You know, it's not a perfect match, obviously, but it is, uh, it's close enough. Close enough for a piece of equipment. It's going to get all scratched really quick anyway. All right, I'm going to move this one up there, pull this one over here and uh, knock that one out too before the guys get back. The overspray is not that bad in here. Obviously there's overspray, but uh, that's a really thick paint. So um, the majority of it is hitting the surface. coat's done one more coat and then this machine's done as well so that'll be two down and then uh tomorrow i'm planning on pouring that concrete so this one here is gonna have to wait till next week all right that's it this one's done all right now we're really gonna move some air out of here that's taking too long. So we can fix that real quick with this big fan. This thing moves some air. Man, where you guys been? Is this diet? They don't have no diet. They only have regular. I can't be drinking that. You never want to go this water, are you? No, that's my favorite. <laughs> it is. I had a little spill on aisle three right here. I have to clean this up after I clean the gun and stuff. Hey, Ryan, I asked for a junior, they gave me a big one. Yeah? Yeah, they messed up. That's because they knew you were a cheeseburger boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I put way too much paint on this one. I was lazy, I didn't bring the light around for the last coat, and that's what happened. Yep, this side's fine. The paint's dripping all over the place. No. I went too crazy on the second one. So, do you know how heavy was this chip? Look at that. That's primer that's dried. Nah. Yeah, it is. Primer? Yeah. It's epoxy primer that was left in the cup since last year. Yeah, that is crazy. Is that cool? Yeah, that is cool actually. That's a perfect, perfect yeah, mold too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, well, now I got a compressor that's where he's going to take that one though, he said, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have a compressor. I'm going to tell you. This message the wall. Yeah, hey guys, I need a compressor. I need a big one though. They don't have any big ones. 
Somebody has to drive the form truck back, yeah. You're done with it? No, but we got to set up tomorrow. So whatever you got, like pouch or ham or whatever you guys need that's in here, put it back on the form truck for tomorrow. I think I'm gonna buy a DA sander. I don't have one. Now that we have air, we could use it on here for sure. That's a big drip, man. I put oh, way, I Look, oh, I put way, crazy, well, I was too lazy. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I was. I, I put the light around all of them and then over here I got lazy. What I didn't put the light around. Yeah. Was that supposed to be a design or something? <laughs> 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 well, I was like, this like. <laughs> it's all on purpose. Yeah, I thought it was just in the front. I was like, well, that's, that's like common, you know. You could, you don't. Oh it. man, that'll be so filled well, with. Gonna yeah, but then it's gonna have a sticker gonna have there. A sticker yeah, there. it doesn't yeah, make any difference. Though, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have a sticker yeah, yeah. there, and that'll be all dirty. Like yeah, as long as it's gray. Hey, yeah. Put the yeah, wherever the drips are. <laughs> I did a really nice job on this one. This one looks really good. It only has drips right there in the corner, which is gonna get all covered with dirt immediately anyway. But this one, man, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it got too cool in here or what. That looks fine there. This one got really drippy. I put way too much paint on this one. I don't know what I was doing. Honestly, that really doesn't bother me. It's just equipment. If it was a vehicle, I would start over. <laughs> hey, this still still by the end, by the end of the winter, hey. I want it like perfectly organized. I got to get shelves. Yeah, but this still pretty good still. Oh yeah, it's not terrible. Not right no, it's not terrible, we bud. Just, we just, like, here. Hey, I'm not going back to the yard. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna run up to Farm and Fleet and get a DA sander. I don't have one. I used to, but not anymore. Okay, I stopped at Farm and Fleet and I found a DeWalt DA. It's the only one that they had in the whole store. But unfortunately, they don't have any sandpaper for it here, which is weird. So I'm gonna stop on probably Monday and get a roll of some paper for it because we're not gonna work on that thing again until Monday anyway. Tomorrow's concrete. All right, I'm gonna head home and uh, see how the boss man's doing. Hi, Daniel. I heard about all the paint drips. Thank you.